Welcome back to my channel again today. I am here for um, an update kind of video that I made like months ago talking about what happened to Jeffrey Combs' Twitter account. Now, granted, I do have a little bit of updates, but not much on it, but I am going to go with the main ones. Now, if you haven't seen my last video about that, I will leave an annotation up there on this video, or I will leave a link down in the description below, but it's got this thumbnail right here, just so that you know what to look for. But anyways, long story short, a brief summary to what happened. Back in March of 2023 this year, Jeffrey Combs' Twitter account was hacked and was basically selling NFTs over there with very suspicious links and posts over at that Twitter account. And these screenshots, as I am showing you right here, uh, yeah, I know Jeffrey would never post these, first of all. Uh, the second thing is, it is clearly, obviously, a scam that this hacker is doing to, what, get NFTs, selling NFTs, whatever. I just know it is basically somebody who knows about NFTs and hacked into his account. That is an issue right here. Believe me, I'm not the only one that has reported this happening, that this person is being hacked, basically. And what I also don't understand is why Twitter's doing nothing about it. Probably not even a day or two, and it looks like this, changing from whatever this blob of green frightening shit to a skeleton of a monkey head in a coin. I don't know. Like, what are we doing here? Now, I do have good news and bad news. The good news is, um... The amount of reports, including myself, that has reported that account has been completely suspended. But the bad news is it's still technically Jeffrey Combs' account, just with a whole different heading and of the user that was created by the hacker that got into his Twitter account. Now, I'm really disappointed that his Twitter account hasn't been back, hasn't come back. I'm not sure if it's gonna ever come back. Um, my guess is if he ever does come back to Twitter, he might have to make a new account, or he might not come back to Twitter at all. Those are my only two guesses on that. But, the other thing I want to mention, too, is that... Why did it take this long for Twitter to finally suspend this account? Like, you almost a week or two for making a quote-unquote offensive tweet that goes, that talks against about a celebrity brazen opinion on them, and I get suspended for like, what, eight days on that before? But yet, a hacker, they got into... A celebrity's account was on there for a long ass time. I would say, I don't know, until June or July it finally got suspended. I don't expect much from Twitter because they've always have a very broad mixed um, opinions when it comes to terms and services and their rules over there where they're either under monitored or not monitored at all by a lot of very suspicious accounts and court accounts before that were rightfully so and normally it took them a damn ass long time to finally get them taken down can i get an explanation on that if for some reason jeffrey combs for some odd reason, I don't know. I doubt he's watching my content, but if he is, I hope you're doing very well, and I hope you are doing the best that you can. I wish you all, and you're probably you're one of my favorite actors. I will have to say, I just discovered you last year when I was watching Reanimator from Beyond and The Frighteners. Honestly, I should have looked you up a long time ago to watch your movies. I really really love you as an actor, but his Twitter is not back, and 
The only type of social media he kind of has is his Facebook, but he has not really posted any updates or anything since last year, and I don't know if he's going to be more of a social media person after the whole, the hacker getting to his account. I have no idea. He might just be one of those famous people where they might not even be on social media, and that's fine. And because really, Twitter is a fuck zone, and knowing what a fuck zone after Twitter has turned into the X logo instead of the normal um, bird logo since Elon Musk took him over. But I do know that. If I do get any updates, or if anybody gets any updates on him, I know um, the actress who is one of his good, closest friends, Barbara Crampton, does a little update. I know recently she just wished him a happy birthday, which, it's funny that I am recording this video, like, days after his birthday. And the fact that it's getting a little darker outside now. But that's all I really have to say. I don't have anything else much to say. And thank you all for watching. Um, if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel at the red subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, give it a like. And you can even give it a dislike to see what I can improve on. And I look like a fucking ghoul out in this lighting. Upload it like this. I look fucking cool like this. I don't care. Fits my channel pretty well with all the spooky theme. And how much I love Halloween. And the fact that I'm a goth too. So en enough rambling. I hope you're all having a good day. And take care of yourself. And as YouTuber Drama Queen would say, love your fucking selves. Really, thank you all for watching.